Well, I never think that anything's inevitable. Uh, we always have the opportunity to make the right decisions. And uh, I've been very clear that uh, these kinds of arbitrary automatic cuts would have an adverse impact on families, on teachers, on parents who are reliant on Head Start programs, uh, on our military readiness, on mental health services, on medical research. This is not a smart way for us to reduce the deficit. I've also been very clear that there is an alternative, which is for us to take the kind of balanced approach that I presented, where we have more strategic cuts uh, on programs we don't need, and we close some tax loopholes uh, that are taken advantage of only by the well-connected uh, and the well-off. By the way, that's what the majority of the American people prefer. Uh, so I will continue to uh, have conversations with members of Congress, both while they're gone and when they get back next week. Uh, my hope is is that we can uh, see a, uh, a different course taken by Congress. Uh, this should be a no-brainer. And, and let me just point out that uh, the overall impact to the economy will be to slow down the recovery. Uh, and uh, not only may there end up being direct job loss, but because the economy is softer, it also means that uh, we're not going to be driving down uh, unemployment as quickly as we should.